I bought some speed paints. I decided, if you couldn't tell, to invest in some speed paints. I'd seen a ton of reviews and a ton of videos of people trying it out and the results always came out amazing. I had been talking about lately in my past few videos about how I just don't have enough time to paint a ton of these minis in intricate details all the time. So I thought the best thing I can do for my painting journey is to finally invest in some speed paints. I may have gone overboard and got the mega set, but I'm super excited to try it out and specifically to try out Slap Chop for my first time. Last week, I talked about painting my original 40K army, the Tau, for the first time. Now I'm going to continue painting them, but using speed paints and specifically the Slap Chop method Method to finally finish all of my fire warriors. I have a hard time getting motivated to paint the little guys, the little troopers that are there on the ground front working hard to fight for whoever it is that they fight for. And I thought speed painting would be the perfect way to finally get through them all while still feeling satisfied with how they'll turn out in the end. So let's go. Wow, I have been sleeping on makeup brushes for dry brushing. <laughs> I had heard this tip, but I had the Games Workshop dry brush brushes, and I thought that these were pretty good. But this time I was like, you know what? I've got some spare brushes. I should try it out, see if it goes on smoother, because I have to do all these towel. And it looks really nice. It comes out so much smoother. The only thing is that the bristles are coming off on a little bit on some of them, but I just pluck them off and then they're good. So already I have all the towel dry brushed with a light gray. I think I'm going to do a really, really quick soft white on top of that, just really little to really make those corners pop. And then it's time to get into the speed painting. I'm really excited to try out these paints, so I'm gonna get it done really fast. See you there. Okay, on to the speed painting part. I think so far they're coming out really cool. So the colors I'm gonna use to paint these are Beowulf Blue for the skin, Slaughter Red for the clothing, and Purple Swarm for the armor. I don't really know the exact color that it's gonna come out in once I put them on, so hopefully it's okay. We're gonna test it all of the colors on one model first, and if I like them, then we can keep going. Also, going through all these paints in just the box is really, really frustrating, because I have to constantly move the little plastic things apart. I'm gonna have to get myself a whole other tray to hold all these new paints, which is kind of exciting. I'm pretty excited. I don't know if you guys can tell, so let's go paint.
I tested the purple and red on one of the minis and I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> uh, the purple to me doesn't seem very even. It seems splotchy in areas and I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't know if I'm allowed to do more than one coat of speed paint because you know, everything that it recommends is like, oh, one coat and you're done. To me, it feels like I need two coats of the purple. Or maybe did I mess up the dry brushing that it was a little bit too splotchy? I mean, it doesn't look as smooth as it would say with like an airbrush or something like that, but it doesn't look as awkward as I feel like the purple is looking. I'm gonna test out tomorrow the two coats of purple see if I like it more. I think I will. The red though is coming out really nice. So we're gonna stick with that. I'm gonna have to do some thinking tonight on how I'm gonna do the boots and the rest of the gun. The red and purple is really, really messing me up, but I'm sure there's a way to piece it all together. I have to look up maybe, I think if I study colors in the color wheel and how I can blend those together, I can maybe find a way to make the boots and part of the gun sort of an in-between color. But tomorrow, hopefully I'll have an idea in my head and we can move forward. So I'll see you then. Day two here and I'm about to start again. I did some research last night and I found a color palette roughly that I think will work. I think for the boots, we're gonna wanna go with like a dark blue. That way we stick with warm, warm colors that aren't too brown because I feel like brown wouldn't match very well. And another thing that I looked up after researching a bit more of Slap Chop and how people use that with some other techniques. And I think I'm gonna stick with the one coat and then do some highlighting really quickly to enhance how it looks without spending too much time. So let's see how it goes. I painted two more with the purple speed paint and I'll be honest, I'm just not seeing where these minis are going to be at the end of all of this. Every time I put more paint on these minis, I'm just thinking, man, am I doing the right thing? Is this coming out okay? Because I'm just not happy with it right now. I'm really not feeling it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna completely finish one of the minis, the one that I started yesterday, with all the highlighting and all the detail work I want. And if I like where it's going, then I can definitely finish the rest of the army and feel good about it. But right now it's getting really, really difficult to just push through and trust the process because I can't see where it's gonna be at the end. Hopefully I'll like it and we can move on. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have a very colorful army. A couple of them are gonna be purple and a couple are gonna be, I don't know, some other scheme or something like that. We'll see. So let's push through.
Okay, well, I think it's time for a little reset. Uh, one, I was already second guessing myself after I finished everything, all the detail work I wanted with the mini. I was getting really into doing the highlights with like pinks and like purples and blending and I was having a lot of fun and doing the highlights on the other stuff. I looked back at the mini and these colors were just horrible. They were not, I'm just not happy with the color scheme. And I was like, you know what? I just need more purple. And I tried putting the purple on the wet palette and it wasn't coming out. So I kept squeezing harder and harder and the whole thing fell apart on my wet palette. Here, come look. And I just, I have to clean it all up and put it all back. And I'm pretty sure I wasted more than half that bottle. And I just, <laughs> it's just too much for one day. I'm gonna come back tomorrow and I'm going to think tonight about what I'm gonna do. I really wanna finish these guys before the week's up and show you what I have. But man, it has just been really hard this week, but that's just how it is. You know, sometimes you think you're on the right track and you have a few good weeks and then something just really brings you down. And I don't wanna be a huge bummer, but I think I just have to sleep on it and come back tomorrow with a new attitude or at least with a new perspective. And maybe a new color scheme while we're at it. So <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're back. It's a new day. It's a new web palette. <laughs> uh, there's a new outlook. We're going to push forward with this color scheme because one, I don't have time. Two, I should continue with me from the past because that was the goal. And three, when I looked at it again, it didn't look so bad. I think I was just in a messy place, especially when all the paints got everywhere. So let's get through a whole bunch today. Today is deep dive day. I don't know, that doesn't make sense, but we're gonna keep going. All right, it's the end of the day and I have all of them base coated with the red and the purple. So we're still going. It took a really long time, but tomorrow is gonna be doing the boots, which I realized when looking at the color wheel that blue is obviously a cool tone and red and purple obviously lean towards a warm tone. So I don't know why I thought blue would work. I'm probably gonna change it. I might just do black. It's easy, it's cool, black boots just make sense, and at least then it'll still look uniform. Tomorrow's gonna be a full day of highlighting and detail work, and hopefully by the end of this week, I will have a symmetrical looking army that I don't hate. I don't think I'll hate it, but I have to remind myself that I've just gotten back into this and that it's okay. And I'm learning color theory 
all throughout this. Let me know your color wheel tips that you think of when you start to choose color schemes. How do you choose them? Do you look at a color wheel and think, these colors look well, is there a specific rule you always like to follow? Let me know. All right guys, we're at the final part. I'll see you tomorrow. We're finally done. This week was, for some reason, one of the more challenging weeks of this past month so far. Slop Chop, in my head, was supposed to be quick, easy, and fun, and I don't know why this ended up being one of the hardest challenges for me. I don't think Slop Chop has been harder for anyone else that I've seen so far, but it was a lot of fun to try a new technique, and I definitely learned a lot through this whole process. There's definitely a few things I learned about Slap Chop that are very important, especially for beginners, to remember. The main thing is that the undercoat is so important. It is the most important part of this whole technique. You need a nice, smooth gradient from a light color to a dark color in the recesses. If not, it's gonna look blotchy and weird once you put the color on. And two is that Slap Chop won't fix any other types of problems in terms of color theory, color schemes, and things like that. Which is important to remember because sometimes you think that these new, quick, exciting techniques are going to fix everything and then you realize that you still have to put a little bit of planning into how you're going to do things. Overall, I'm so proud that I was able to finish these guys. The boots could probably still use a little bit more detail. I think overall they still look uniform and interesting and they're gonna look great while I'm playing with them. I'm excited to try Slap Chop with other types of minis, especially minis that are very uh, organic, I guess is the word. So let me know what you guys think about the end result, what you think could be done in the future for me to improve upon it. Your guys' advice and encouragement really helps me out so much and I'm really grateful for them. So any tips, any tricks, any pains that you've had with this Slap Chop method, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you next time. Until then, keep painting. Bye.